welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog today is friday october 4th been busy got a new vlog published to the channel that's up now if you want to check that out this morning i've been really focused on getting a lot of fresh listings up into the small store yesterday i took photos of the remainder of the shorts that i purchased last monday spent 151 dollars on new inventory last monday at goodwill and i've been working through that this week and I just finished up the stack of shorts uh, you saw in yesterday's video. Got everything photographed and now they're all listed, most of them into the small store. Let me show you what we got listed today. So I think I got 15 uh, new items listed into the store. We left off last time with these Nike shorts and uh, this morning we got started with some swim shorts. Here's a pair of Old Navy swim shorts. Another pair of Old Navy Hawaiian swim shorts. Next to that, a pair of 2XL Zero Exposure shorts. Up here we got into more dress shorts. Here's a pair of Eddie Bauer cargo shorts. And some Cutter and Buck beige dress shorts. Some Greg Norman beige dress shorts. And some brand new New Balance collection. Actually, Balance collection is the name of it. Brand new though with tags. The dress shorts continued with these. Some Greg Norman dress shorts. Next to those some Black Perry Ellis dress shorts. We got some Wrangler dress shorts over here. Kind of a smaller size. Next to that we got some Gray Hurley dress shorts. Up here I just finished these. A pair, a couple, one uh, Augusta. I had a bunch of these. One large and one extra large. So same type of shorts, just different size. Listed those for $9.97. And we got a pair of black express shorts. And finally, next to that, we got this pair of Hurley dress shorts. So there you see it, 15 listings into the small store. I put some of that away. I've got the rest here ready to be put away. And then we're going to get into packing the orders of the small store. But first, let's see how the YouTube channel is doing. I've been giving you guys regular updates, so I want to keep you guys and informed of how the channel is growing. If we check the channel analytics up here, it says your channel got 77,686 views the last 28 days. Watch time is up to 517.7 hours. If you look at the chart down here, it looks like we dipped off a little. We haven't been posting as many into the short section, so we need to get that going again. But uh, that hasn't stopped subscriber count from jumping, I think, four new subscribers to 757 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who has hit that subscription button. And if we look down here, uh, the views of the last 48 hours, we've got 1,588 views. So although the effort has been going into eBay this week for the most part, the YouTube channel has continued to grow. So we're keeping that going and uh, still trying to put our efforts into turning these eBay stores into some more profit-making venture. Um, we had a few sales out of the small store today. Not a bad uh, day out of the small store. Let's see what sold. So there you see we had four sales out of the small store for $53.66, $53.66 for four sales. Let's see what they were. So if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you know that I put both sale, both stores on sale uh, for 20% off uh, store-wide. So we're running that sale. It's going to be ending at Saturday night. One, uh, the small store ends, I think, 4.30 and the big store ends at 5. So everything in the store is marked 20% off. We do that, try to get these uh, sales coming in a little bit faster and it has resulted in a few sales out of the small store as you can see but as that uh, sale counts down to a Saturday at that time uh, hopefully the sales will start rolling in a little more frequently. First item that sold sold for $14.89 it's a medium retro Paris yellow and black microfiber polyester wedding suit vest with the buttons and uh, these are good to pick up every now and then Go through the vest section and uh, see if you have them. I usually pick them up for $2 at Goodwill when I can find them. And you get them in various colors. People use them for weddings as well as uh, proms and that sort of thing. Retro Paris is the brand on this one. Size medium. So the bigger sizes are better. But this has the adjustment in back. So just like a little pop of color under a suit. A nice vest like this. A yellow, bright yellow vest uh, is perfect for prom 
season. So that's the sort of thing, you know, that someone might buy and use one time for a wedding or a prom or something like that. And uh, why pay $30 retail brand new when you can get it for $15 online, right? So that's what they did. They picked that one up for uh, 14 and change. And uh, we'll send that out to them and hopefully they get it in time for the big day. Next item sold for $12.84. It's a pair of old navy blue drawstring athletic shorts, polyester size, large, men's man's. There you see them, just basic old navy shorts. You list some shorts and then you see uh, more short sales coming your way. Old navy active, uh, there you see, uh, you find these quite often at the thrift. And uh, nothing special about them and uh, just a minor profit on these, not a big money maker. So brands like Old Navy, you know, uh, kind of mall brands like that um, where they have the outlets and whatnot where you can go there and get stuff so cheap sometimes it's hard to make some money on stuff when they're selling in retail so cheap but uh, we put it up and uh, we did make a few bucks on that one they are uh, plentiful at the thrift so you can always find Old Navy on the racks next item sold for thirteen dollars and twelve cents just listed this one yesterday it's a born primitive blue flag athletic swimming board shorts 33 inch waist by 9 inch inseam so had the American flag um, on the one side there, the one leg, and Born Primitive is the brand on the other. There's a look at it, and uh, these are kind of swim trunks, I guess you would call them. Perfect for, perfect for Memorial Day or some sort of picnic you might be having, you know. You want to have that festive American flag on the leg. Some people frown on wearing the flag, but a lot of people enjoy wearing it. So there it is. Born Primitive is the brand. Last item sold for $12.71. It's a trove dress. Trove, that's how I would pronounce that. Trove dress, casual women's polyester, size small, crew neck black and gray and white. There you see it kind of a, looks like it had a tree on there. Some sort of floral print on the bottom. A little geometric print on top. Short sleeve or cap sleeve, whatever you want to call that. Trove. And there you see it, it looks like it has little superstars on there. You see that? Um, size small so it's not really that in high demand something like this will sit in the store for quite a while so we're happy to get this one gone 100% polyester nice little dress sold easy money so four orders for $53.66 I'm gonna go grab those four items from inventory and put the rest of these shorts away into inventory so that's what I've been working on putting a lot of uh, these fresh listings into the inventory Got to keep things organized or it starts to stack up here in the office. So uh, putting in a little bit of the extra work that's required to run two eBay stores like this. So there is the remainder of eight of the 15 I listed into the small store. We're going to put those eight away and grab the four that sold. All right, through the magic of video, there they are. Four small store orders and here come the shipping labels for them. We're going to get these printed and add these to the tote. Get them ready to go to the post office. All right, there it is. We got an empty tote and we got four orders ready to add to the tote. Let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, and number four. So now that you guys have seen what I got listed and you've seen what sold, let me take a second to reintroduce myself. We got a few new subscribers. So my name is Brian Kingsbury. I'm a full-time reseller. We've got two eBay stores. And this channel kind of details the ins and outs of the business. I show you guys what we're listing. You saw that. I show you what sold. And of course, I show you what we're buying. We're going to get into that a little bit later. we got to get in that photo station and uh, find some more inventory to list. Luckily, we bought big on Monday. So we got plenty to get through. Uh, but first, got to log into that uh, big store. See what kind of action we had out of the big store today. Let's take a look. All right, just logged into the big store. Looks like we had a few orders out of the big store as well let me show you what sold there you see it three orders so far for $50.83 5083 for three orders let's see what they were first item sold for $25.10 it's a vintage Maui Hawaii Aloha white 80s baseball hat snapback cap rainbow keyword gay so you got the rainbow on there Maui it says uh, back probably from the 80s or maybe even the 70s I think this I put 80s in the listing but this might even be older look at this uh, hat um, it is a snapback and the snaps were still in good condition 
Got the Maui and the rainbow and Hawaii Aloha on top there. So nice looking vintage hat. Sold $25 and change. So when you see vintage stuff like that at the thrift store, always pick that up and consider buying it. Like you see, just a basic hat there. It did even have a couple stains on top there. Still sold for $25 and change. So a decent amount of profit made on that little hat. Kind of just a basic little kind of canvas hat. Almost looked like a painting hat. It had the rainbows on there. But somebody wanted that one from the 70s or 80s. A nice vintage piece. So you can make some good money on vintage uh, clothing and hats. Next item sold for $8.50. It's a large Star Wars gray BB-8 boys graphic t-shirt top. Cotton polyester blend. So I think this came out of a storage unit. Get a lot of kids clothing. Sometimes I'll list a few items here and there, and that's what this is. Usually don't make a lot of money off them, as you can see, but uh, when the subject uh, matter is Star Wars, you can definitely sell that stuff. Uh, there's always a demand for Star Wars. People love Star Wars. This is a large uh, boy's size, so not a lot of demand. Even had a little tear in the shoulder there, as you see, and uh, still sold for $8.50. Uh, it's lightweight. It's small. It will, uh, won't cost very much to ship this, so we should still make a couple bucks. Third item sold for $17.23. It's another vest. This one's a medium unbranded gray polyester men's suit dress vest. Uh, men's sleeveless. So just another button front vest. I think this one is even missing the top button. But still uh, good enough to make the sale. Must be homecoming season or something. They're uh, buying these quite a few one out of the small store and here's another one out of the big store as you can see it doesn't take a lot to list something like this we got one two three four photos and a little description letting them know that top button was missing and uh, that was good enough to get this one sold out the door so there you see it three orders for fifty dollars and eighty three cents i'm gonna go grab those three items from inventory we'll print some more labels add those to the tote and get them ready to go to the post office all right through the magic of video there they appear we got the suit vest we got the star wars t-shirt and we got that hawaiian hat and here come the labels for them fresh off the printer we're gonna get these printed Add these to the tote and have them ready to go to the post office. Get them out to the customer in a timely fashion. All right, it's a little after eight o'clock now. Just had some dinner. Now I'm gonna photograph some fresh inventory. I'm gonna take you guys into that photo station, show you what we'll be photographing and getting ready to list tonight. Let's take a look. Here it is. This is all that is left of the $151 purchase I made on Monday. So we've uh, gotten through it pretty good. We got 10 shirts, short sleeve shirts here. Here's a Hagar, Hagar kind of yellow shirt. Here's a nice solid a Good Threads, a blue shirt. This is a uh, Ralph Lauren Chaps, kind of a plaid shirt. Um, this is a nice blue, white, and red. Harbor Bay, 2XL, so that's a big one. Over here we got a uh, Redhead, uh, a green shirt with two pockets. Cambridge blue shirt. Uh, Van Heusen white shirt, Apartment 9 gray shirt, so we got some good brands here, Old Navy extra extra large, so another big one, and the final one we're going to do is this Mark Anthony kind of a maroon burgundy luxury slim fit, also a 2XL, but Mark Anthony tends to run a little small. But that's what we're going to be photographing tonight. So I'm probably just going to photograph that stuff and take it easy the rest of the night. We'll begin listing that stuff fresh in the morning. But I want to thank everybody for watching this video today. Another day in the life of a reseller is down. We made some progress today. We got some good listings up. We got our orders packed up, so we're ready for the weekend all that's left is for me to photograph that inventory and then we'll have that ready and waiting for us to go in the morning so that's what you got to kind of do as a reseller you got to plan out your days a little bit and be one step ahead of the game so uh, we're going to work on getting that done tonight and uh, we'll start fresh in the morning if you haven't yet please hit that subscription button ring that notification bell and plan to make this a regular part of your days thanks for watching this one to the very end we'll see you on the next one bye